today's message is, um, is a song, okay? So it's a song that we're going to observe. It's a song that is found in Psalm 18. What is interesting to note is that this Psalm 18 is, uh, is repeated in 2 Samuel chapter 22. So when um, David comes to the end of his life, after all the conquests and after all his struggles and uh, his fall and rise and, you know, as a king and, and all this, after, you know, defeating the Philistines and the giants and so on, he um, again, you know, writes this uh, or declares this song. So we're going to look at some verses, verse by verse, and then some sections, just a bird's eye view. Let's go to verse 4, verses 4 to 6 talks about the circumstances, some of the things that he went through, the pangs of death. He said, it surrounded me wherever I look, the pangs of death. Pang meaning a sudden pain, a sudden painful emotion, the pangs of death. The sorrows of Sheol, Sheol, a place of death, hell itself. The sorrows of Sheol, he says, surrounded me, which means that he was depressed, he was despairing for life, and it surrounded him wherever he turned to look. Oh, I hope, you know, this window when I open, uh, it'll, it'll show me something nice. But he opens it and it's again this despair. And uh, we know that he was fighting for his life. We know that they were enemies. And he tried to do his best to serve uh, under King Saul. And King Saul came under, uh, after him uh, because of his own insecurities, right? We're going to go to verse 1 and we're going to read verses 1 to 3. In all these verses, so the psalmist makes a choice, an active choice, a conscious act of his will, saying, I will do this. But what is interesting is that word love, that's the only place we will see it in the entire Old Testament. That word love that he uses there, it's a uh, intense, a very deep, compassionate, tender love. And then uh, in, in the same few verses, we see that he says, I, my God, my strength, verse 2, in whom I will trust. He chooses to make God his trust, his confidant, his refuge, his hope. He says, I will trust. And then we see, that he chooses to call upon the Lord. And that word call means to proclaim, to invite, to mention the name. So David chooses to proclaim the truth of who God is in calling upon the Lord. He chooses to invite the Lord in, into his situation and circumstance in calling upon the Lord. He chooses to mention the name of the Lord, the Savior, the Healer, the Deliverer, the Redeemer in calling upon the name of the Lord. And he chooses to encounter his presence and his power in calling upon the name of the Lord. So sometimes we need to make a choice. We need to make a decision and say, I will call upon the Lord. And he chooses, um, uh, in verse 49, he says, I will give thanks. I will give thanks. It's, so you and I, when we go through those valley of shadow of death, when we go through those moments, to make those choices, to say, I will love him, I will trust him, I will call upon his name, and I will give thanks, and I will sing praise to him. Just two more things, and we're going to close, right? Uh, verses 7 to 19, we're not going to read through it, but he talks about the deliverance. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. He delights us, in us, enough to deliver us. Maybe we are saying, you know, I need deliverance. I need to be delivered from this. He is the deliverer. So if you're going through a dark season, and if you're thinking no one understands or no one hears, well, God hears and He is all stirred up and He's angry. This righteous anger that he, He's feeling because He wants to do something. He doesn't want us to continue in that season of deliverance. And He wants to deliver us, snatch us away, pluck us away, take us to a place of safety. And He wants to do that because He delights in us, takes pleasure in us. That's our God. Lastly, we see that the psalmist, throughout all this, his posture is one that of being righteous, keeping the ways of the Lord, being blameless, um, keeping himself from iniquity, 
quick to repent getting right with god that was this was his posture now we know that he was far from perfect right he made some very very poor choices adultery and murder and covering up and all that but when he was convicted he turned back to the lord this is this declaration of the psalmist he says with this god my rock my strength my high tower my stronghold with god by my side i can so this morning i just want to encourage us you know from this song with god by your side you can